Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I get my water samples so that you can as well if you're interested. First, you need to get some sort of container that will hold water, and I like to use mason jars for this, but any kind of container with a seal will do just fine. You're also going to need pipettes to get some of these microbes, but you can also just use the jar itself to collect your water. You can get a sample really from any body of water you come across, like a pond, creeks, rivers, or even temporary puddles will contain some form of life. Most of my samples come from pond water, and that's where you're going to see a lot more life because of things like nutrient buildup, a lack of movement in the water, and other variables. Any kind of organic debris like sticks, leaves, algae, bark, or even tiny aquatic plants will be perfect to collect for your sample. I like to use one of these longer pipettes to get the microbes near the bottom, and it provides a better reach, but you can also just use a normal one or even your hands to toss your sample into the jar. I also have this little sampling tool that I made with a pull stick and a looped bucket attached to the end that helps me get to samples in deeper waters. Once you have a few different pieces of different organic debris, you might start to notice some life even without a microscope. I like to use something like tweezers to place the algae onto the slide since it usually gets stuck up in the pipette and gives me way too big of a sample. Eventually when it starts decaying over a couple days, it will soften up and be a lot easier to grab with a pipette. For the videos I make on bacteria, you would do this exact same process and put the jar aside for around a week or two while the bacteria and other cells multiply inside. Eventually you'll get a thick biofilm on the surface that's full of different kinds of bacteria and microbes. The water may also turn a murky white color from all the microorganisms present as well. If you take a small amount of the stuff on the surface, you should see an incredible amount of bacteria and other cells swimming around. This one had a ton of bacillus or rod-shaped bacteria, along with a few other kinds of ciliates, but it won't always be the same kind of bacteria or organism. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The things that you can sample are almost limitless as long as it will fit under the microscope itself. Every time I look at these water samples, I'm blown away by what I see, and it's completely different every time, even when I get from the same spot at the same pond. For the rest of the video, I'm going to play some extra footage that I have of some cells and other microbes that I collected over time in case you wanted to see more. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.